Hi everyone, welcome to another Pan Panen Pious Prophetic Pondering, episode 5. Today's episode is titled, God's Judgment Equals uh, Climate Change, Preterism, Satan's Little Season, and the Pole Shift Disaster Cycle. <laughs> if you watch me over on Supplemental Broadcast, you are well versed in a few of these topics already, but we're going to dive into some of the deeper stuff that I don't go into on the Supplemental Broadcast because, well, it's prophetic sight and insight, and that doesn't really belong on a current event show, does it? While I do feature faith in God, I, I don't, I don't, um, I don't really feature the deep stuff because I, I don't want that to get mixed up in there, and I don't want the, it to go to the wrong, the wrong audience. I want this to go to the right people who need to know this so that um, they can move through this. But anyway, let me start. I have my notes here below. So our world was not as it was six thousand years ago as it was 12,000 years ago, nor as that was 12,000 years ago was as it was 24,000 years ago, and so on and so forth. Um, and the, the Bible uh, speaks of two ends of the world uh, intended for uh, that book to uh, cover, okay? So there was two ends of the world, kind of. Um, there was the, oh yeah, warning, we're going to dive into preterism right now. Um, so the first end of the world happened around 70 AD. Nero was like the Antichrist and Christ returned. All, all of that rapture and all of that stuff, like that already happened. Um, I am a partial preterist. I'm not a full preterist. Um, Full preterists, I think, are a little too confident. Uh, I do believe that the vast majority of the events have occurred, but I do believe that we're in Satan's little season. And I want to talk with everyone about that. And I want to talk with everyone about what I think is happening with this uh, disaster cycle and reset cycle and uh, all the climate and weather differences and uh, everything that's going on that is that is not the man-made foolishness that I talk about on the supplemental broadcast. We're not talking about that here. We're going to talk about uh, all, all things we talk about here are spiritual and, and natural. Uh, we, we don't really go into to the systems of man here. So let's uh, let's stay. Let's keep our heads on that track. So I believe that um, this is Satan's little season. And that is what started um, at the end of the millennial reign when Christ and every and everyone did, you know, um, did their thousand year reign on earth and all and then you know they you know went went on about their business up in the heavens and then the dark ages came we um that's basically what happened okay and the roman empire has kind of been trying to cover this up and fudge this over on us um the kazarian ma mafia has been doing it to uh the the islamists have been doing this to um there's a few other groups of uh, shady, uh, my, you know, minority dark paths, you know, Satanists, Luciferians, uh, atheists, anti-theists, etc., who who are kind of in on this stuff. And then there's some people, unbeknownst to them, that that uh, they they have no idea of literally uh, what's going on or what path to get on because they can't see the big picture. So I'm going to try to show you the biggest picture that I can see. I'm going to put some links uh, below in the description box to help everyone um, learn more about these topics and learn what I've learned because um, God shows me this stuff. Um, I'm given these videos. I'm told when to go look at them. I'll be minding my business. You know, I, I like to watch a lot of BritBox. Um, personally, I, I love my old British comedies. I, I really like classic stuff. And I'll be like watching, like keeping up appearances and my, uh, my TV will blink, like my Roku will blink and that, that's him, that, that's, that's the good Lord signaling me. And that's time for me to go to YouTube. It doesn't matter what app I'm in. Uh, he will, he will get me and tell me, yo, I could already be in YouTube watching a video. He'll blink it at me like, yo, come back out of here. And I got something to show you. So I, uh, uh, this happens a few times a day. <laughs> And this week, the theme is preterism, millennialism, post-millennialism, Satan's little season, um, 
we're, we're, we're at the end of the road. A lot of people are waiting for, for Christ to come back. And here's the thing. I believe God's coming back. Okay. All right. The thing is, it's not for the rapture. It's for the final judgment. All right. This is Satan's little season. God is actually letting these foolish fools have just enough rope to more than hang themselves with. And make a real example for why no one should live or act the way they do ever again. And we have to watch them go down. We're not going to take them down. We're just a witness. We're here to uh, be godly, to be obedient when God literally directly speaks to us. God is back and God speaks to me all the time. And that is going to get us through the upcoming earth disaster. Okay, this earth disaster took out Lemuria. It took out Atlantis. There is, there's documented um, evidence of all of this. You know, this stuff took out Tataria. Um, there, there's, a, there's a lot going on. And, after, and at this judgment, and this, this is what I, I believe is going to happen. This is what's kind of been revealed to me. So you can take this uh, to, to uh, the good Lord uh, for verification. And if you're uh, Eastern path, you know what to do, okay? So, um... How do I put this uh, and not like have everyone uh, keep their vibes good? Okay, so um, God in his amazing wisdom, he's got, he's got some wisdom, y'all. He decided basically that what better judgment on man at the end of Satan's little season is there than letting man have it against man, okay? His judgment is literally not providing the vast majority of everyone who had a nice cushy, you know, protection blanket from him. You know, that thing that kept the weather nice for so long, the thing that the thing that kept the earthquakes and volcanoes from acting up for so long, the thing that kept the sun stable, yeah, for so long, the thing that kept our magnetic field in good condition for so long literally started going bad around 1850. And all the powers that be have been trying to cover it up since about 1850, okay? What they want to call climate change, climate crisis, whatever, the earth is boiling. God is pissed, <laughs> okay? That is what that is about. Pardon my French, but seriously, we're adults here. God is unhappy, okay? He is unhappy. He invented damnation. What more poetic damnation is there than to let them damn themselves. He's letting these freaks damn themselves. He's giving them the ability and the tools to damn themselves while everyone who is good is being persecuted. Satan thinks he the bomb, but he about to blow up. It's, this is not working for him, okay? He is a joke for realsies. So the day of judgment I believe is the day that the micronova and the earth's crust unlocks and shifts around and we have a new configuration of continents and we have experienced continental drift and that is going to happen in the next couple of decades. That's what I'm preparing for. I'm building community for. I have set aside land for. I'm building an ark, kids. If you want to help me, description box below. Um, we're, we're, we're building an ark, my husband and I. We're going to do what we can to start a town. Nice little off-grid town, nice and safe, in a safe place for the big shift. We're not going to talk a lot about that on here. But rest assured, it's been set away and we're developing it. And when we're ready to let everyone know more, well, we'll let everyone know more. <laughs> but right now, I just want to let you know that that's how serious we are. I am from the East Coast. And I understand the East Coast is going in the drink. Everyone on the West Coast, my understanding is the West Coast is going in the drink. My understanding is if you are not somewhere very high up in the mountains, you are not making it through this one, okay? And we all need to get ready for that. And I'm here to tell you it's time to get ready for that. I've already been shadow banned. That comes with telling the truth to the best of my ability because all I can give you is what I've been given. Um, I'm going to provide a lot of resources, but, you know, climate change is literally nothing new. This has been going on for millions of years. 
okay? And our earth was here before all these configurations, all right? Like, our earth is not what they're telling us it is. They're trying to dupe us with their mathematical modeling, i.e. divination. Their science is nothing more than modern witchcraft, literally witchcraft, alchemy, alchemic, dark alchemic witchcraft, actually. Um, they're going to pay for what they've done, okay? They set us on ourselves and on each other. They set us on our habitat. They set us against our own well-being in the name of maybe they'll leave us alone if we just go along with the dumb shit they say. Like, come on, that's not cool. So yeah, sorry for the colorful language, but again, I try to keep everything PG-13 here. Um, the rapture is not upon us. Everyone trying to prep for that tribulation yeah, you're going through some trials and tribulations, but the tribulation happened in 66 AD. Nero was the Antichrist, okay? That is a fact. Um, the Jesuits and their nightmare one world religion plan and their one world government and all, they've been running the show for centuries. Centuries. Like since like, I don't know, I think the 10th or 11th century, They've been doing this stuff. So everyone really needs to wake up um, that the doctrines, the feel good stuff, what gets, what gets the people to throw the money in the collection plate? What gets the people to put, put um, trust and stuff up and, and put uh, institutions in their inheritance and organizations in their inheritance and one, one to get their name on a building? You can't trust those guys. The world's run by the Pharisees. They want to be sacrificing stuff again. This is not okay. Okay? They want everyone doing Sunday sun god worship and false idolatry to a cross. That's not biblical. That's not okay. None of what they're having anyone do is okay. The Jewish people are having people do wrong. The Muslim people are having everybody do wrong. That's paganism. Uh, the, the pagan people don't even understand they're serving Lucifer. Or Satan. They don't even understand because everyone has been lied to to destroy themselves because this is Satan's little season. Okay? Satan's little season. Let me give me one moment to recenter my energy. I don't like talking about Satan. And a mindful breath. Dear Lord, please, please, please help get me through this video because these are such hard, hard, hard topics to talk about. All right, so the sun controls much of this. The other heavenly bodies that we call planets, those are like beings that like control more than people think they control. Those are heavenly bodies orchestrated by God's masterful, um, well, omniscience his masterful omniscience remember god is omniscient that's why i'm a pan panentheist you can't be omniscient without being everything and in everything right right so um yeah all of these things happening in space all of these things happening to our earth like the volcanoes and the um earthquakes and stuff all of these things happening to our weather all these things happening to our magnetic field um, all these things happening that appear, everyone got used to when things were mundane and it's exciting in the heavens again. And when it gets exciting in the heavens, things heat up down here. We're going to have another cycle. Whatever the new religion is after the earth disaster, we're building it right now. Um, these societies that have to live parallel to make it out of Satan's, Satan's little season are being built right now. Getting back to the land and learning how to do it the old fashioned way, very big right now. I suggest everyone get into it. And practicing non-attachment, which is fundamental in, in Buddhism. And I was not a good follower of God or Christ. I wasn't a Christ-like person until I learned Buddhist discipline and Taoist wisdom, okay? I had to learn that first to do the other stuff right that I was taught growing up because I was taught by the apostate church. 
And it's unfortunate that most of us were. But here we are today, forging and building the understandings of the religion for the new world. If, it, if you want to even call it a religion, I don't even think it's a religion. I think we're just compiling a new dharma. And all a dharma really is, is uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of really, really, really mindfully sought out knowledge that, that is going to be beneficial to all of us. <laughs> so, and I think all of that is, is in God's will. God never intended us to be the same forever. He never intended us to not evolve. God never intended us to be miserable. God never intended us to be in bondage. And God never intended us to be enslaved by lesser space gods who ran around saying they're God when no one knew better about God who is omniscient, omniscient, omnipresent, and omnipotent. Yeah, all three of those. So um, that is my little talk. Don't be freaked out. But do go to the description box below and check out the... Uh, the video entries that I have supplied uh, to help you all um, in your endeavor. I'm probably not going to get this or the last video did uploaded before the Sabbath because the sun is going down. So I probably have to unload, uh, upload these on Sunday. Um, but I do uh, want to uh, tell everyone, um, uh, keeping the Sabbath is, is just good for you. <laughs> is really good for your health. And I, I highly recommend everyone keep Passover. If judgment's coming, Yahweh might show up. And Yahweh don't, don't mess around. Go read the books of Moses. He don't mess around. So yeah, do I try to respect Yahweh? Yeah, but I do not mix him up with, with God, the Almighty, the Source, etc. Like I don't, I don't mix him up with, with the, the big overarching God um, because that's, that's incorrect. So um, yeah, I hope that you find the links that I provided helpful. I hope that if this resonates with you and you were looking for confirmation, like, am I losing it? Um, or is like this what's happening? Uh, if this came to you, this is your sign. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Um, and, and if it came to you and you, and you, and it's not a confirmation, it might be something uh, that, uh, you know, Spirit wants to put before you to consider. Because I'm, I'm coming through you uh, compelled by, by the Holy Spirit. Uh, I've been sitting on this one since uh, the solar energy was so high, I couldn't film it until today with the eclipse and everything. I've been taking like so many naps. It's been ridiculous. I'm so sensitive. But yeah, I want to leave you guys with these links. I want to thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions or anything, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you'd help me in the algorithm and uh, like, uh, like and share and you know all that good stuff i'd really appreciate it to you know people who you think that this would benefit and i really hope that you come back and join me again for another pan panen pious prophetic pondering when i come back with episode six that i don't have the title for yet because i haven't written it yet but i'm probably gonna write it soon so until next time bye everyone stay well